Hey, what's up, everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, August 3rd. In 1798, at the Battle of Aboukir Bay in northern Egypt, British naval forces under the command of Horatio Nelson forced the surrender of the French fleet under Napoleon. In 1852, the first ever intercollegiate sporting competition takes place as Harvard beats Yale in a boat race at Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire. In 1882, a few months after the Chinese Exclusion Act, the first General Immigration Act is passed by Congress and signed by President Arthur. The act included a 50 cents tax on all migrants landing at U.S. ports. In 1900, to supply pneumatic tires for wagons and buggies, in Akron, Ohio, Harvey Firestone founds the company Firestone Tires. The company would be the original supplier to Ford in 1906. In 1921, the first known documented crop dusting by plane takes place in Troy, Ohio to disperse lead and arsenic to kill a worm infestation. In 1923, Late on August 2nd, the 29th President of the United States, Warren G. Harding, dies from an apparent stroke in San Francisco. He was 78. On August 3rd, Calvin Coolidge is sworn in as the 30th President of the United States. In 1936, American Jesse Owens, out of Ohio State University, wins the 100-meter dash gold medal at the Berlin Summer Games in front of Adolf Hitler. It was the first of four gold medals for Owens. In 1975, home of the New Orleans Saints, the New Orleans Superdome is dedicated. Some 45,000 attended the ceremony, which included a concert with the Allman Brothers and a circus performance by the Ringling Brothers Circus. In 1979, in Birmingham, Michigan, at the Oakland Hills Golf Club, Sam Snead, at 67 years old, became the oldest to make a cut at a PGA Tour tournament after qualifying by two strokes. And in 1984, at the Summer Olympic Games in Los Angeles, at Poly Pavilion, Mary Lou Retton becomes the first American to win an all-around gold medal in gymnastics. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. I hope your weekend was well and have a good week. Be safe out there and bless up.